Hey, and welcome back to my Quadflyer channel, where I share with you my passion in this great hobby of FPV. Have you ever had hot motors? Have you ever spent a whole weekend building your quad, you fly it for the first time with well, defaults, and you got freaking hot motors, and you can't figure out why? Have you bought a ready-to-fly one, and the damn thing has hot motors, and you can't figure out why? You're running stock filters, stock pids, but yet you still have hot motors. Well, I'm going to show you something this evening. The first thing you should do if you discover that you have hot motors, and this may be the culprit in a way to fix your hot motor problem. And you need one simple tool, a voltmeter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be fancy like that. It could be one like this. As long as it has the continuity setting on it to where when you touch your probes together you get a beat okay that's all we need and what we're going to do with this is we're going to take your quad and you're going to start checking for shorts sounds uh, crazy right well what happens sometimes um, if you build your quad or maybe even have a bad motor um, you'll have a short between your motor and the carbon frame. And how this happens on most cases is you might have a motor screw poking up and touching the windings inside right here. That's one possible way. The other one is, is you could just have a bad motor. The windings are grounding against the, um, in part, in, uh, the underside mo part of the motor right here, and it's just bad. So what we're going to do to test this is what we're going to do is take your leads, make sure you have it on the continuity setting to where it beeps, and what you're going to do is you're just going to take, and the best way to do this is with the screws to make sure that you touch. What we're going to do is we're just going to touch a, a pad on the ESC to your motors are soldered to, those right here, these right here, that's where we're going to touch, okay? So we're going to touch that and put a, put one probe on the screw, like we have here. And then we're going to put the other probe on the ESC, wherever that motor is soldered to. And you should not get continuity right here. If you have continuity, you have a short. Okay, so what you'll want to do is go ahead and check all your motors. We'll check this one on this side. It doesn't really matter which which one of these you, you touch right here um, it wouldn't be bad to check all three of them for each motor so we'll touch this one here and the screw and you can also use the side of the carbon frame not the top part because the top part right here it has the resin that they use to make the carbon fiber on top and usually you have to scratch scratch through that before you can get any continuity but on the side here where they machine these things is raw carbon fiber right here so you should be able to see if you've got a short by touching your motor pad or your motor wire to the frame and as long as you don't get a beep you're good but let's let's check this motor right back here we'll just put a probe on one of the wires to the motors to the ESC here right here and we'll put one on the uh oh you hear that? That means we have a short. You see what I'm doing there? I'm just touching the probe to the ESC, and you can even see I'm touching to the side of the frame, getting continuity. So anytime this happens, the first thing you need to look for is these screws in here. Do you have one poking through the motor? As you can see right there, that looks good, and that's what, and that's the bad thing about these naked bottoms. Is I notice the windings on them, they tend to hang down really far. And if you look over here on this side, can you see it? Can you? Right here. Let me get a little pointer. Right here. If I can get my camera to focus now. Right there. See that screw? The screw is right up against the windings, just 
the ever so slightest. So when you come across one of these motors or wires that have continuity, the first thing I would do is I would just take and back the screw off. Back, maybe even one screw at a time, back a screw off. Okay, and let's check for continuity again. See there? No continuity. So that tells me that this one screw right here was causing a problem. And the reason it's causing a problem is if you have a, a regular four millimeter carbon frame, bottom plate, um, typically what you need is a, um, seven mil, a, th a three millimeter screw, eight millimeters or seven millimeters long. This one happens to be eight. And what you need is to have a seven millimeter like this. That's all the difference it's going to take to fix our problem. Because those screws aren't sticking, um, that screw wasn't sticking way far above the bottom, but it was just enough to where it nudged just against those windings and uh, it could cause you a problem. So we're just going to go ahead and stick this screw back in here. We're going to tighten it up. And this is something that I always do on a new build is uh, I, after I get my motor screws in, I check to make sure that I have not getting any continuity between the carbon fiber frame and the ESC. See there? We still got, still got our beeps. No continuity here. So we know we don't have a short on the motor. And when we have a short on our motors like this, it is going to create heat. And depending on how bad the short is, if you have multiple screws in this motor, it's going to get exceptionally hot. And I think where it may even cause a problem is maybe having two motors shorted out to the frame. What kind of problems that might cause. Okay, so let's say you buy the Biden Fly. This is the Hornet 120. This is a fantastic flying machine for the price. It, uh, I have a liter 120, but this one right here absolutely outruns it. This thing is fantastic, but it has a problem. It has a hot motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my probes, and I'm going to check in here on this first one. It'll be hard to record that, but I'm putting my probe on the ESC wire, and you can see... I'm not getting any continuity, but let me turn it over here to this side. I'm going to put my probe on the ESC wire, or the motor wire going to the ESC. And you see there? I've got a problem. I've got a short. Now, I've already pulled the screws out of here and removed the motor completely. Put a probe on the motor wire to the frame to make sure we didn't have a short in here somewhere. So unfortunately, this one motor right here has a short in it. The windings are touching somewhere inside here, creating a short. And it's, this motor, it runs hot because of it. And uh, the only thing that I can do is replace the motor on it. And um, I haven't had this. I've had it for a while, but I haven't flown it that much. And I probably cannot get um, any customer service to fix this because of the length of time that I've had it. But if you're having hot motors, that would be the first thing I would check is to make sure that you're not having a grounding or a, a short issue between your ESC and your motors, either from the screw or possibly a bad motor. I hope this information has been helpful and help you diagnose that perhaps that a filter is not the problem, but a short is. This is Quadfire X, and I'm signing out.